Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the Melbourne leg of the New World Metals Investment Series, and I caught up with Tim Mason, who's Chief Executive Officer of Eagle Mountain Mining. Tim, uh, welcome back to the Roadhouse. It's been some time, and um, welcome back uh, to Australia. <laughs> Thanks, Wally. Yes. You've been uh, a busy man. You've been over at Eagle Mountain's uh, project um, over there in Arizona. Um, a lot of activity on the ground and a lot of activity in general. So yeah, just bring us up to speed of what's going on. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, good to get over there again. It's in. It's in really good hands with Manuel Ramos. He's our CEO, ex uh president. He's uh, is running it from the US. But no, it's always great to see the see the team. Um, yeah, there's lots of activity. So we're still drilling from surface. Um, we've been still been getting some great results on that front, but we're reopening up the existing underground mines. There's 18 k's of development underground. Uh, we're going to get a drill rig underground, and that's going to be a game changer. It's much more efficient drilling from underground. So we, you know, we're giving the the gen sets a birthday. We're putting new bearings in the primary fan. You know, the pumps and all the services is uh, getting back up to speed. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of activity. But, uh, but that underground mine is such a great asset for being able to get the project back into production. So, you know, all that activity uh, on the mine there, and you're saying that everything uh, that's, you know, such a great asset as it is, there must be uh, quite a bit of work to do to, to get it up to speed. Well, well, there is, but relatively sort of not in the same regard. So, you know, the existing development's in great condition. So, you know, we're spot bolting, pin-ups and meshes required, but then, you know, the existing electrical infrastructure is there, you know, it just needs to be given a bit of a birthday. So, you know, relatively, we're talking around about probably about a million dollars to get the, the mine back up and running. All right, and that's such a great financial boon too for a company uh, like Eagle Mountain, you know, to only have to spend so much to get the mine up and running, I mean, whereas if you had to build it from scratch, uh, you know, it, it could be a lot harder proposition. Oh, absolutely. It'd be, you'd be talking probably north of $100 million to get that development, you know, back in place. And when I say the mine up and running, we're not actually physically mining, we're, it's really to get the drill underground to start getting more into the higher confidence resource categories, because that's what you need to get into a feasibility study. So that's our real key focus, getting more of our resource into those higher confidence categories. Uh, and that idea that how advanced uh, you are really, you know, if you think about it, uh, how hard has that been to sort of you know, to get to the to the market? That message, you know, to let people know, look, we are, you know, we're a junior explorer, but we've got a whole lot more going on for us. Yeah, you're, it, it is pretty challenging, and I've had this question a few times about you know what makes quality projects and. What we can really leverage off is, is an existing mine, so you know that it ticks boxes from, you know, it makes a good concentrate, uh, community, geotechnically it's fine, mining makes fine, you've got the grades, kind of all those aspects is, and, and, and permitting, you know, one of the biggest ones as well. It's got the key elements really to take the project forward, but what we're doing is leveraging off the new discoveries that we've had to enable us to have a, a longer mine life at a, at a predict, bigger production profile. And I was just about to say that you've got all these things, but what you've also got is copper to put through the mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah exactly right. Yeah. All right. Well, Tim, as always, it's always great to catch up, and it's always great to know that there's a lot more news coming through. So keep in touch, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Uh, always good to chat, Wally. Thanks.